Greetings lovelies, hi it's Emmy, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these. Hmm, very disgusting, realistic looking edible worms. Just in time for Halloween. So, let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how it's done. So here's what you'll need. You need two three ounce packages of red jello, three packs of unflavored gelatin, about a hundred flexible straws, three quarters of a cup of whipping cream, some green food coloring, and three cups of boiling water. So in a large bowl, empty all the gelatin. To the gelatin, we're gonna add three cups of boiling water, and then just stir until everything is well dissolved, then add 15 drops of green food coloring. Then we're gonna set this aside until it cools down to room temperature. While the jelly is cooling, you can go ahead and stretch out your straws, and you're gonna put the stretchy side down into a tall container, you want a nice tall container that'll hold your straws snugly so that will get nice long worms. I'm just using a tall mason jar. Next, stretch a couple of rubber bands around the straws to bunch them together, and this will make them easier to fill. So once the gel is a little bit cooled, you can go ahead and add your cream. Stir that well. And then pour the jello cream mixture back into your measuring cup so you can fill up the straws. Place your container of straws into a bowl to catch any overflow, and then slowly fill up the straws with your jello mixture. You want to fill these straws as much as possible to ensure you get nice long worms. Then place the whole thing in the refrigerator and allow it to chill at least eight hours or overnight. To get the worms out, I used a butter knife and kind of scored around the edge, and then I was able to pull the straws out. So there are two methods of getting the worms out of the straws. One, you can just pinch the straw and pull it through your fingers. For the second, which I found more helpful, I would use a rolling pin and use that to kind of squeeze them out of the tubes. And there you have it, a pile of nasty edible worms. Alright, so now that I have this pile of beautiful worms, let's see how they taste down the hatch. Mm. And they just taste like strawberry jello. <laughs> Not surprising at all in terms of flavor. If you're at all squeamish about worms, I don't recommend making this project because the texture of these are remarkably worm-like. Not that I've ever actually eaten a worm, but this is what I imagine a worm would feel like. I don't think they would taste like this though. <laughs> So this project makes really realistic worms. It's fun, it's a bit time consuming, and it is very, very messy. But if you have some time and kids, I highly recommend doing it, simply for all those reasons, because they're gross and nasty and messy, and it's super appropriate for Halloween. My son loved making these, and they don't taste half bad either. So if you're looking for an idea on how to use these worms, you can go check out my other channel, Emmy Made, where I'll be posting a video tomorrow on how to make edible dirt cupcakes with these fun worms on top. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow, and I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. And this is called Le Pet, or Le Petto. Along with working on Le Petto, I think is probably Japan, but I'm sure you can find it online. Let's do this.